Hey designers and welcome back to Transformation Tuesday. Yes, it is that time of the week when we have to get on the scale, so stick around. Welcome back you guys and a huge welcome to those of you that may be new here to Divine Design. Glad to have you and hopefully you'll consider subscribing before you leave today because we do all kinds of fun stuff on this channel. A whole variety, a conglomerate, a hodgepodge of different things <laughs> and we always try to have a good time here. But Tuesday is the day of the week when we jump on the scale and show you guys how we're doing with this new health journey. Yes, yeah, so let's just get right to it. It's been an interesting week this week to say the least. You guys know if you've been around for a little while that we had been on a 21 day fast with our church. So if you're following over on Divine Health, that's where I show you all the meals that I'm eating every day, we took you on the journey with us and I showed you exactly what I was eating every day during that fast. I was eating one meal a day, that's it, fasting breakfast and lunch and all snacks, just eating one time a day and that's what we did. The fast broke Sunday. <laughs> that's kind of bittersweet. Always sad to see a fast come to a close, obviously because of the spiritual benefits, but I have to tell you, I was super happy that we were able to finally eat normally again the way that we choose to eat. But I have to tell you, during this process, some of you guys that have been watching over there and seeing how I was eating and seeing that I was eating once a day mentioned to me the concept of intermittent fasting. And we talked a little bit about that last week. And I encouraged all of you to go and to do some research on that subject because it really piqued my interest. And I too have continued to study a little bit this week. I've listened to several different doctors, not just nutritionists, but actually physicians who talked about intermittent fasting and the health benefits associated with it. So I thought everybody seems to have such positive things to say, but I wonder what Jordan Rubin has to say about that whole subject because I really, really respect his opinion a lot. If you've been with my channel for any length of time, then you guys know I've showed you before the literature that I have of his. He is the author of books like The Maker's Diet, Perfect Weight America, Patient Heal Thyself, several other ones that he has since come out with and he is just a phenomenal teacher of health and nutrition but he's lived it he has used food to heal conditions that he himself had one of which was cancer that he went through and then he also had Crohn's disease that nearly killed him which is kind of what started his health journey to begin with all those years ago so I thought I really respect his opinion everything that he says seems to be spot on I followed his program way back in 2004 and in 2004 I actually lost 70 pounds following his program and his dietary suggestions all naturally mm, yeah <laughs> and then of course like so many Many of us do on this diet roller coaster we get on. I stopped eating the way that he suggested and then we see the results of that especially with all the illness that we've had with our home and everything else. So I thought I want to see what he has to say about the intermittent fasting because if he believes in it that it's probably a pretty good thing to do. So that's what I did. I'm going to link a video for you down below where he was discussing this very issue and I'm just going to cue it up to where he starts talking about the intermittent fasting. Please feel free to watch that whole video if you want to um, because he mentions a whole lot of good stuff on there but he had very positive things to say about this intermittent fasting. And when I put his opinion together with all the other opinions that I've been researching all week long, I believe I have decided to stay on this intermittent fast for a while. Now, one of the doctors that I heard talk about this very issue suggested a 23-hour fast every day where you're just eating one meal, which is what I was already doing. You guys know that for 21 days. And Jordan said that it can take about three weeks for it to really kick in and you start seeing the benefits of it. Well, here we are, 21 days. That's exactly three weeks. So I thought, okay, I'm just at that point now to where any type of health benefits could be kicking in. So why stop now? Now, Jordan actually eats three hours out of the day. He starts eating around 6 p.m. and he'll eat up until around 9. So his intermittent fasting isn't quite as stringent as the 23 hours. His is actually only 21 hours. If you do other types of intermittent fasting, you can fast for six 
16 hours and eat for eight, which is what a lot of people suggest, especially if you're first starting out. But it definitely sounds like something that I want to continue doing to see if I notice any changes in my body because there's so many health benefits that go with it. It releases different hormones that are often inhibited by insulin that's in our blood every time we eat. And if we're eating too long of periods and not giving our body time to rest, then that insulin is constantly fighting the natural growth hormones and everything else that our body's trying to produce. Hence the reason why a lot of us stay sick and why we have other issues, even autoimmune issues, because we're just not letting our body do its proper job of rejuvenation. So I think I'm going to stay on this intermittent fasting for a while, and I do believe that I'm going to try to keep it to still the one meal a day. We'll see how it goes. I may extend that to where I'm eating the three hours, and I may even extend it to where I eat the eight we're just going to have to see how it goes. But I have to tell you, I was even noticing this morning as I was getting ready, I can already tell a change in my skin, you guys. I can tell a huge difference. I know things are happening for me. And I really do believe it's because of this fasting and because all those growth hormones and everything else are kicking in and they're finally being able to do what they were created to do. So I'm excited about it. I want to encourage you guys again. Take a look at that and see if it's something that you may be interested in. Definitely don't start anything without first talking with your doctor or your nutritionist. Let them work with you to make sure it's going to be safe for you, but definitely look into it and, and look at all the health benefits that can come from it because I'm telling you, there seems to be so much positive about it that I think it is something that I personally want to try and would recommend that you look into it for you to try as well. Now, recapping the week for you before I step on the scale to show you what I'm weighing, you guys have seen every single day what I'm eating. I've been showing you what that one meal a day consisted of, and some of it was good choices. <laughs> Some of it was not so good choices. As a matter of fact, you guys will know several days last week, three or four of the days last week, I actually had something sweet for dessert, which is not a good habit to be in. And I think I probably did that because I was kind of talking to myself about, well, you're just eating the one meal a day. You're still within your calories. So it's okay to throw in a little bit more of the sugar, but that's really not a good way to look at it at all. So this upcoming week will not be making that a habit. Also, if you guys are following over there on that channel, then you saw last night there was a little birthday celebration around here because one of Bub's buddies had a birthday. He turned the big 18. So we had some cupcakes last night after their soccer practice and we did have some sloppy joes. And although I made a good choice with the bread that I used, instead of having just one of those, I did have two. So I had a very heavy meal last night. I did have a cupcake and brownies for that birthday. So yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But sometimes you just have to, right? <laughs> So I was a little nervous stepping up on the scale today because I knew I had the sugar last night and I knew I had a pretty heavy meal last night. And sometimes that can just cause you to retain water and you never know what the scale will do. But alas, it is time to stop gabbing and show you what the scale said. Stepping on that scale this morning, I was weighing in at 212. <laughs> so I was definitely disappointed because that is a 0.6 from last week. That is a little more than half a pound. I can't fully explain that to you because you've been watching what I've been eating every day and I have been giving you calorie counts. My calorie counts have been lying anywhere between 1,100 to 1,500 a day. I think there was one other day last week that I had about 1,700, but every other day those calories rested in between that point. So there really should not have been a gain at all because let's put that in perspective to gain about a half a pound means that every day I would have had to be consuming the exact amount of calories that I was burning plus an additional 200 calories a day so <laughs> there's no way there is absolutely no way according to my little Fitbit which is pretty accurate it's not a hundred percent but pretty accurate I have been burning between 23 and 2500 calories every single day and I've been eating between 1,100 and 1,500. That is about a 1,000 calorie a day deficit. So that means that I should have at least lost those two pounds according to calorie equivalent. Are you following me there? <laughs> so how in the world it, to, to actually gain weight, I would have to be 
eating everything I'm burning plus an additional 200 calories a day. And you guys know as well as I do, I did not do that at all. So I think there could be some water retention. You guys also know we've talked about sometimes our bodies have rhythms and patterns where every few weeks we may be holding on to a little bit more and it's not quite wanting to release it. It could also be some metabolism changes with the fasting. And although your metabolism does actually speed up with intermittent fasting, it takes a little bit to adjust. So that could also be a factor in there. It could just be the fact that I did have the heavy meal late last night. I maybe had a little more sodium holding on to some water because I did notice my hands are definitely swollen today and my rings are definitely tighter. So I know there's some water weight going on in there somewhere. So my waist measurement was exactly the same. I was weighing in at 38 inches again this morning. So no loss there, no gain either, just stayed even. And yeah, I have to be honest, I'm disappointed, hugely disappointed because when you feel that you're working hard <laughs> and you're cutting out food and all that kind of stuff to not see the scale move is definitely disappointing. But this brings me to a little interesting thought that I had. Although most people tell us that you've got to burn less than you eat, True, you do. You have to watch that calorie intake. You have to count those calories. It really does still matter what kind of calories they are. So even though those few cookies this past week and the cupcake and all of that might have been within my calorie allotment, it still was bringing back in that level of sugar that I have been trying to cut out. So yes, I stayed within my calories, but I had more sugar than I usually have. And sugar can definitely make you hold water. It's just like salt. It can make you hold on to water. So I think that's probably what's going on which is a little more incentive to buckle back down. Now, I have to be honest again, whenever I first saw that, that weight up there, the first thing I wanted to do was give up. And the first thing that I said to myself was, forget it. I'm just not even going to do this intermittent fasting. I'm just going to go back to eating the way I was. But that thought only lasted a brief moment. And I got my thoughts back under control. And I says, no, it is a momentary setback. It doesn't necessarily mean there's been a gain. So I have to just stick with it and I have to wait and let my body do the changes it needs to do. So I want to encourage you with that. Don't let your first thought be turning back to food or giving up. You've got to stay with the program. Stay with it. So I want to encourage you. I'm going to show you some before pictures and my current pictures because this is the 16 week way in. Whenever I jumped on the scale to very begin this whole thing, I was at 251.8 with a 44 and half inch waist and this is what I looked like oh my oh my <laughs> and today I am down to 38 inch waist weighing in at 212 yes and this is what I look like now so you can see that side by side there that means I am down six and a half inches on my waist and I am down 39.8 pounds so almost 40. I had hit 40 last week, but that 0.6 put me back up over 40. So <laughs> I'm at 39.8 pounds loss. So that is still great progress, you guys. It is still great. And I'm not discouraged. I'm not giving up. So you guys don't have to worry about that. We're going to stick with the program. And we're going to see this on through. The goal still is to be in Wonderland by the end of February. So that gives me four weeks to try to get back down into those 100. So anyway, that's my update this week. Let me know how you're doing. Definitely don't forget to hop on over there and subscribe to Divine Health because that's where I'm showing you every day what I eat, good or bad. <laughs> healthy or not healthy. That's where I'm showing you what I'm eating. And you'll also see from time to time some exercises that I'm doing. You see the plank challenge that's going on right now. And you will also see that this week I posted for you a little fitness apparel lookbook things that we got at five below. So all kinds of fun stuff happening over there that's all health related. You're going to want to join, but nonetheless, still overall a good week. I feel good. I feel better. I'm noticing changes in my skin, so I know it's working and the scale, you know, it just is what it is. So <laughs> definitely let me know how you're doing down below. Hang in there, you guys. Together we can do this. We're going to make it. We're going to become Bit. I want to thank you so much for watching and I want to remind you, you were created for purpose. So get out there and be all you can be. I'll see you soon in the next video.